baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Birmingham Barons and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Jose Rodriguez gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better part of the zone. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. Even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things around as they've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Yeah, Matty, for me, I'm, I'm going to go off script here. I think one of the keys to winning this game, I get it. The pitcher has to throw strikes. The offense has to show up. But I need more energy, more focus. I need guys flying around. I need guys looking like they want to win a ball game. Two balls and a strike now. Here we go, right now, fellas. The 2 1. Hard on the ground towards short. And there's one away. Is taken for strike two. I got to count one and two. Got one down now. One down. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away, and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Two and two the count. Count remains two and two. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away. So next to hit is Jose Rojas, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now the pitch. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down and away, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Behind 0-2 now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We'll go on to the top of any. Here's the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Here's the pitch. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Francisco is there, one away. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Francisco is there, one away. Next to stand in is Brennan Lund. 
the center fielder, Brennan Rudd. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Arnett is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batter will be Lane Huffman, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. First pitch of the A.B. now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Oh, uh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. And he pops him up back behind second base. Remillard will put this one away, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We play two full. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward, the designated hitter, Kevin Maiton. The designated hitter, Kevin Maiton. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Reined in. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Hey, that was a gorgeous backhand stop right there. You could definitely tell he had a little trouble getting rid of it. Had to take that extra step. But I like that. The eternal clock was right on play. And he was able to make a great throw to get the end. And a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Nope. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Bases are empty. One man out. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. A three one count tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Batting the second base. In now, Phil Gosselin. Gosselin. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Mm, and he'll just watch that knuckle curve one and one man this pitcher is on right now pounding the zone attacking these hitters he's making it look easy on that fastball is too much for him there one and two and he chased it in the dirt and that ends the inning make it nine straight here to start the ball game first pitch and he fouls this one off one and two now and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner run so far. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Can't start any better than this. He set down the first 12. On to the top of inning number five we go. Now with the plate is Ibanda Isabel. Flew out and is only at bat so far. The first baseman. Pitch on the way. Yeah. Come on, fellas, let's go. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. And now swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Breaking ball called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. And there's their first hit of the game. I guarantee you at release point he wanted to pull this pitch back change up middle of the plate usually gets deposited in the seats. At the plate now Kevin Maiton and that one yanked just foul comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. We're through five here at the ballpark. Birmingham leads this thing four to nothing. Striding in is Kyron Paris. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball in there for a cold strike. That elevated fastball right there, 
that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Stepping in once again is no Phil Goslin looking to put change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Goslin is making a bid to be an all star this year with his strong season. He's currently the second leading vote getter among second basemen. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that all-star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. Fouled away. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Standing in now, Deshaun Knowles. This one skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Seventh inning coming up. And now the first pitch. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 2. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Now here it comes. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. The first baseman. At the plate, Ibunda Isabel. Isabel. And he puts it on the ground to second. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. He kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice. Well, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now boy he's been great in this one he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard count still at one and two Take your pitch. Shut him down right here. from the belt kicks and deals and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. 
Francisco gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. One hit, one left. Eighth inning coming up. Birmingham leads this thing. So now to the plate, Lane Huffman. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Nah, they just haven't had much of an answer, Matty. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound the strike zone. But here, get aggressive. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. I got it. I got it. Livingston has him played perfectly as he puts it away for route number one. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. The pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. Richie Durant answers the call now, looking to get this one on to the net. One run game comes to an end six to five the final the trash pandas put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory Zach Ryan gets the win in relief his second of the year so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan please act this is Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show.